If you've been on YouTube at all recently, you may have noticed that a lot of people are quitting. 2023 started off with Anthpo and Seth Everman both completely quitting making videos. They're done forever. And as of this past week, we've seen YouTubers basically quit the content that they're known for and are instead going down a new route. Meat Canyon put a pause on animations to focus on his second channel. Tom Scott quit his main channel to focus on his podcast. And Joel Haver quit weekly shorts to make monthly movies. And you might be sitting there wondering, why? Why is this happening? Why is everything I know and love dying? The world hates me, and I've got the answer for you. But I want to start off by explaining what happens when you go full-time on YouTube. About a year and a half ago, I was lucky enough to finally make YouTube my full-time job. I went from serving food for many years to finally having the opportunity to have my final day of work, tell every customer to suck my f and to be able to spend all of my time doing what I love. But the issue with going full-time with YouTube is that it's kind of scary when you're starting out on YouTube before you have any sort of sizable audience, you're fueled by hope. Hope that one day you're going to be known amongst all the other people you watch. Hope that you'll make money off doing what you love and hope that you'll have tons of subscribers who love your videos. And once you achieve that, once you quit your job or school and focus solely on making money through YouTube, you are now being fueled by fear. Every day goes from, I wonder if this video will blow up so people will notice me to, oh fuck, if this video doesn't do well, I'm not gonna be able to eat. And that's not a good place for you to be mentally when you're trying to make fun content. And logically, you'd think once it's your main job, you know, you have more time so you can make more videos, which means you'll get more views and more money. That makes sense, right? But that's not how it really works because YouTube isn't like a regular job. In a regular job, if you go from working 20 hours a week to 40 hours a week, you make double the money because you did double the work or at least work double your hours. But on YouTube, you can go from making four videos a month to making eight videos a month or even 12 videos a month and make even less money than when you were making four videos a month. So now knowing that information, it makes sense why people are quitting or switching what they're doing. For Meat Canyon, for example, instead of having a big team that's putting a shit ton of time energy and money into each animation, he can instead make commentary videos that take less time, have less money put into them, and actually get way more of a reward out of it because it's most likely not going to get demonetized. He can put a sponsor in the video without it ruining the story. It's more likely to get shown more because it's a long video and when the YouTube algorithm sees a video over 30 minutes, it comes its pants and shows it to everyone. And the ad revenue for those videos are going to be multiple times what it was for an animation because now you could put mid-rolls in the video. So when you break it down like that. There is no incentive to want to keep making animations when it is draining you mentally and financially. Now, in Joel Haver's case, he's going the opposite route of what most YouTubers here are doing, and he's going to put in more time into his content and make less money, but that's because he's insane and not because it's a smart business move. Now, in my case, I've gone from being full-time for over a year and a half to now not being full-time. Now I have other shit I got to do to earn an income, and it's fine, but I'd much rather go back to a position where I'm doing YouTube full-time again. And it's got me thinking, what is my next move? Because right now, making one to five minute long videos doesn't seem like it's what the algorithm wants. And doing a podcast or commentary video seems way more tempting, but I love making dumb rants with dumb drawings over them. And I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do, but one thing that I do know is that if you go to my Patreon and give me money, I would be really happy and your name will be here for everyone to admire. So, you know, you should go do that right now, uh, right this second, you know? Um, did you do it yet? No? Uh, okay, I can wait. Uh, I'll wait here. You know, I, I can make the names go even slower. Yeah, I can make them go as slow as I fucking want. I can make them so slow that it doesn't even look like they're moving. It barely looks like they're fucking moving. And it's gonna stay this way until you go to my Patreon in the description and fucking and give me some money. I'm just kidding. I'll speed it up again. But uh, yeah, uh, give me money. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, have a great fucking day.